What's going on, a few kids? How are you guys out there? I hope you're well. Wherever you are, welcome to a few kids and me. I appreciate you guys for stopping by here with me today. It is Monday, the 4th of December, 2023, and it's 9.06 p.m. right now where I'm at. Hope you guys have all had a wonderful day. And if it's your birthday, happy birthday. And, um, yeah. I appreciate all of you guys and all of your contributions and helping this channel grow in advance. And um, if you're new, hello, how you doing? Welcome. I do Oracle Index 3 decks. Okay. So we're going to use the crystal deck today. Had another light day at work today. It's so chill. The weather's chill. No work. Like, okay. I like it, but of course I don't like it because when I see my paycheck, I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> but I like coming home early, being at home, relaxing. Because I'm such a night owl. I stay up so late and then I get up early to get my children up for school and make lunches and all that. And I don't go back to sleep. I just be up. So, yeah, whatever, however, what's good, oh, you kids, let's see what's going on for you guys, or all of us, I should say, one more time, Rainbow Obsidian it says, Heal your heart. It's pretty. Heal your heart. And at the bottom, we have Moonstone. Literally. Uh, it says, Live your purpose. The ring I had on yesterday looked something like that. Okay. Live your purpose. Oh, and. Fill your heart. Maybe I was I was going towards music. Like I like music, right? Healing your heart, living your purpose. Like a lot of people express through their music, you know. It's a way of healing. You know, maybe we can combine the two things. Let me see if there's someone texting me. Hold on. Why is an email coming through at this time? Oh, okay. So. What is this about? I don't know. I'll check that out later. I do not like distractions, but I always get them. Okay. Let's see what we get here. Rainbow Obsidian. Okay. Here we go. It says here, You are strong and resilient. And you are capable of working through the deepest of human emotions. The heart is both the most fragile and most powerful element of our physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Trust that no matter how exposed or pained you may feel, you have the power to recover and heal. From the loss of a loved one, a relationship, a beloved pet, or even a job, we've all experienced grief, whether the event happened recently or long ago. 
a variety of emotions may surface at any given time as part of the grieving process. Allow your emotions to come up so you can acknowledge and then release them in order to fill that space with new love, light, and hope. It says here, core questions. When have you experienced a loss of any kind? Did you allow yourself the time and space to grieve? What would aid your grieving process? Hmm. It's different for everybody. Well, well, well. Feel your heart. Okay. We all experience loss. Oh, man, don't we? But, you know, just make sure that you allow your, yourself time to grieve. So, here we go. Healing the heart. So, it could be anything that you are trying to recover from, release fully, something like that. Someone has passed recently, or like you said, or an animal, I'm sorry for your loss. For I completely understand, for I have lost many very close to me. Alright, one more. Shocked and baffled. And if it is like um, not someone actually literally passing and like a relationship just ending. Yes, it, you know, please heal so you will be open to love again one day. No need to rush. Or maybe you're in the process of dating, healing in a different type of way, you know, just to kind of get over the person. Just wanting to date, just wanting company or something like that. Never know. You have long hair or long locks. One more time. It's taking some time, and that's okay. You don't have to rush healing at all, guys. We all heal differently. See, I worked in hospice for so long, so it's kind of like I became really kind of numb, but not even numb. It's just I really realized that, you know, it's just part of the journey of life. And, um, you know, I, I cry a couple times and it's just like, I'm kind of over with it and I justify it how it is justified to me that, like I said, it's part of life, especially if, you know, someone was sick or something like that. I have no control over that. It's sad. Yes. But I don't have any control over it. It happens and. You know, it is what it is. You got to keep moving with life. Most of the time, you know, you'll hear someone say, in, in terms of like, say, for instance, myself, you know, being on the opposite end, you know, trying to be emotional support for someone. You always hear those sayings, you know, like, they wouldn't want you sitting here, you know, crying your face out or getting lost in this emotion or, you know what I'm saying, something like that. And it's the truth, you know, you, you still have your life, you're still here, you know, and they want you to live, you know, so something that your heart beats for, 
Yeah, live. Crave whatever it is that you crave, you want to do. Do it. You know, part of healing yourself, explore, learn something, maybe do something you've always wanted to do. <clears throat> so, you know, like I said, you know, I worked in hospice world such a long time. And I, you know, I had, that's what I did, I, that's what I dealt with. So, um, when it came to my own family member, you know, it was like I was the strong one for all the rest of the family, helping them cope and understand, you know, that this is something that we will get through, you know, and um, we have to get through it, you know, like I said, because we still have life and we have to live it, live it to the fullest, actually, because it is your life. All right, one more. Hmm, a little emotional right now. I get it. I totally understand what you just have those days, you know? You just want to let it out, let it out, my dear, let it out. Don't hold it in any longer. You have to let it out. You have to let it out. From time to time. <laughs> Even though you may be able to justify it and understand where it's to be placed and so on and so forth. But still, sometimes it just comes out, like I said, part of the process. One more time. <clears throat> time for something new. Yeah, try something new. One more. Online famous. What's going on? How you doing? Online famous and watching a fetus in me. I'm honored. Thank you so very much, whoever you are. <laughs> okay. Last step. Always remember the good times. Laugh, cry at the same time, and just remember the good times. One more. Will you ever forgive me? While you're feeling your heart, they want to come back. Or at least be friends with you or whatever. That's up to you. One more time. I think one came out. I'll take one more. He still lives at home with his parents. And whatever comes out here, that's just what I will take. A materialistic individual. Okay. 
higher levels of education or learning. You could be going back to school. Someone tried to intimidate you. They have control issues. You're very well known and popular. That's why they want to control you and try to intimidate you because you're on you're on a whole other course here. Praying for it. Excuse me, you could be a twin flame. Do you still care? You have an impatient being around you, bugging you. You found a new path, no more dead ends here. Time to move forward. Seems like it's a love situation, you know? You just had enough of it, or you had enough of it. It's the best feeling. Only the strong survive. It's our anniversary, yeah, yeah, anniversary. It's our anniversary. Tony, Tony, Tony. The time is here. The time is now. Public displays of affection. No, no. Don't do it. Maybe you like to go wine tasting. And then we have here, don't listen to what people say, they don't know about, about you and me, put it out your mind, cause it's jealousy, they don't know about this here. That's John B. Maybe you're life path number five, you're into adventure, and you have a lot of magnetism and passionate, or passion, you're very passionate, fun change and communication someone is not your usual type so let it go they don't understand you you're an original at everything you have an arrogant person around you. You could be a highway patrol or in the process of maybe wanting to become one. You have very high values. They are bogus and counterfeit. Speak now or forever hold your peace. That was something my mama used to always <laughs> say to me. Rest in peace, mother. She would always say, speak now, forever hold your peace. Like, you know, like, I'm not going to ask you again if you want something, you know, you know, trying to be all, you know, uh, like, um, what's the right word? Like, caring or considerate, like, for her dollars or something. Like, no, nah, it's okay. She's like, you better see, I'm giving you an opportunity now to get something if you want something. <laughs> uh, wealthy. Forever hold your peace. Don't you say nothing about nothing all this week, okay? <laughs> I gave you an opportunity. You could be a tarot reader. What's going on? How you doing out there? Give up the fear. You have a promise ring out here. Purple royal seat. Ignite your power. And then we have here, you can be street smart. And then here, purple, um, purple here. Um, I don't know. But purple is like for the crown chakra. Um, so, and we have tarot reader. So, I don't know. Full of pride, just things that you know at this time, things that, you know, I don't know, something's going on with your mind and how you're feeling about something. 
you know, on healing your heart, you know, like connecting with your heart. Like I always tell my children, if your heart and your mind are not connected, it's not going to flow right. You know, and God got to be in there too, you know what I mean? <laughs> they smile in your face all the time. They want to take your face and backstab us. Backstab us. Hmm. Three song cards. Don't listen to what people say and they smile on your face. Two totally different energies. It could be about the same thing, you know, smile on your face all the time and take your place. Because they, you know, some people talking about your relationship with a person or what happened with you and a person or something like that. Or, I don't know. All along, they would. Your relationship. Mm, excuse me. You took um, all your energy back. You took your energy all the way back. You have children. It's just lust. Someone's name starts with the letter P. That's my mama. Patrice. Yes. It's so crazy. My mom's name is Patrice. My ex husband's mom's name is Patricia. <laughs> it gets even crazier. My mom's middle name was Diane. My mother in law middle name is Anne. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm like, that is the craziest thing ever. I'm like, did y'all know each other? Was this plan? Who, who did all this? This is ridiculous. How did this happen? <laughs> Okay, miscommunicated often. So, I don't know. Maybe you know someone named Patricia or Patrice. Um, Pat, Patrick, Penelope, um, Priscilla. Okay, um, Spade, all day. Don't overreact. Someone's name starts with the letter W. Williams. Wendy. Side hustle. You could be a school, I mean, elementary school teacher. Play lottery and win. Man, I've been trying to figure out this online bingo crap. Like, can I get money for real? <laughs> Lack energy. No comparison or competition here. Here they come. Truth always prevails. Tomorrow will be different. I'm just saying. Period. Back up. New life on the horizon. As you're healing and getting over things. You're very independent. King of the castle, so this could be you or you need that in your life. Time for a massage. You get that a lot. Where was it? Spotty all day. Right here. So, you know, it could possibly be like... Let's just put it there, whatever. Because I'm not going to read them. It could just be, you know, time for you to relax. And maybe that's like something that you can do to go and heal and relax yourself. Relax your mind. You know, let your brain go off into, you know, space as they're playing their relaxing sounds and massaging. Someone's name starts with the letter O. Who is the distraction here? Someone's name starts with the letter V. V O W. Vow. Maybe it is your anniversary. Okay. Sharing its mission and spotlighting unique perspectives and connecting diverse communities. Point of view. P O V. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Um, healing the heart. So naturally, I think I want to do the happy day because I just want some good energy. Um, 
Healing heart. Today on get this Here. Okay. So I need like two more good decks. I'll buy some as soon as in the year wrestling. Okay. I have to put myself on it. Like a restriction, like, okay, I'll buy a new deck every month and be looking at my freaking area like, okay, what am I going to do with all this? <laughs> um, let's see, I need one more deck. Maybe I'll do like I did yesterday, I'll just pick it when I'm, when I'm figure it out. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to start with the happy deck. Let's get some happy vibes out here for you guys as you are healing, getting over something, or, you know, um, yeah, just, you know, in, in your, in your element of, you know, um, grieving at this time. Or however, remembering, reminiscing, only the strong survive. You are, you will be all right. You're enough because you are the healer, the wounded warrior, all of those things. <clears throat> and um, I know sometimes, like, man, you always have to be the strongest one. Well, maybe, but you can you're built that way for a reason. <clears throat> All right. All right. But it's still okay to cry. All right. Let it out. All right. Here we go. One more time. The chariot. It's like um, you, you know, fast movement, rushing through something. Maybe you try, you trying to get over something too fast. Maybe it's time to just, you know, relax. It is a determination here. You're determined uh, to move past something quick. Trying to move forward, found a new path, no more dead ends. I ain't got time for it. That's back there. I'm going this way. Type of vibe. Letting it go. Four of cups, not looking back. Don't want to see anybody's cup at all while you're soul searching. Okay. Reevaluating your life. It's the best feeling to move forward and focus on yourself. Even if someone is trying to offer you the whole world with the Knight of Cups. Okay. Trying to charm you and all this and that. Or it could. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, one person that you're totally over and here comes a new person trying to charm you. I'm not too sure. Falling still right on their bogus and counterfeit. You know, don't move too fast in another direction. If you're trying to hurry and get out of something, no more dead ends. Focus on yourself and heal for a while. But I'm I'm not the one to tell you what to do. You know, you date a person, do whatever you want. All right. I'm just saying. <laughs> so with the world, that's the completion. Okay. And it says fulfillment. And it says celebration. So the world always talks about completion. And um, it said online famous. So the time is here. The time is now. Um, you could be maybe even, 
you know, sharing your experiences online with your with your online family people or whatever, however you want to call it, soul tribe or whatever, you know, people that rock with you or whatever, you know, viewers, subscribers, whatever, however you want to categorize the people that support you, you know, um, you're explaining to them things maybe about your process or maybe they're seeing it or something like that. So, you know, you are an example And this here uh, situation has led you into the space of celebrating um, is definitely over. Ace of Feathers, Ace of Swords. You found your true clarity, mental clarity. Your true foundation is within yourself. Newfound path, no more dead ends. Like that other relationship is over it's time for you to really get out there and enjoy life with the six of swords it says transition you have this new insight you have this new um point of view of your own life you know bird's eye view like you're looking down on it you know like wow you know i could do so much more you know, yes, I am healing. Yes, I am getting over you. I'm trying my best to. And I don't want to go backwards. I don't want I don't want to keep doing the same type of things or whatever the case. And if I do take anybody's offer or anyone's charm cup, it better be somebody that is all the way um, in such a prestigious like type status that understands how to really truly respect and treat someone with love and all of those things. Or you are this here, king of the castle. This is you, your focus, and you're, you're back on your grind, you know, focusing in on yourself. And what you <clears throat> can offer, <clears throat> okay. The temperance, balance. You're a, a humble person, and you understand that. It takes a patient individual. It takes this patience within yourself to be able to, or humbleness to be able to really heal the right way, even though you're ready to take off and, you know, <laughs> with the fastest chariot, car, or whatever, run top speed, however, <laughs> to get away from this past situation. But, um, you're very, you're very balanced. Your feet are on the ground. You understand what needs to be done. And you're doing it. Ooh. So the Empress. Was this like a... Was this a marriage? We had the other day you're going through a divorce. And I'm sorry. But at the same time, all things happen for reasons. You know, if this was a dead end, you know, just because this person was your wife, you know, the mother of your children. Yes, no one wants to separate the family. Um but for whatever reasons, if it, if this is the situation and the case, um, yes, I am sorry because, you know, it hurts to go through all these different levels of things, you know, 
um but you know still yes that we have to be able to justify you know everything that we go through in life you know and with every issue there is an origin what's the origin what's the what was the problem you know, evidently you guys already figured out what the problem is we already at the divorce level you know and it's just like well this is what it is you know um problem solved case closed whatever um and so yeah even you know even with divorces you know you still do sometimes when people get out back into the world or by themselves or whatever calms down and realize you know damn what it what did what happened what, why did i do that they still yell may want to try to come back do you still care about me do you still love me you know um that type of thing i don't know wow Here with the page of cups. What is the word say at the bottom? Intuition or inspiration. Interesting. Okay, so of course naturally on the mind's like, okay, you can go three different ways. So like I said, you know, you're like, no, I don't want this cup. Only way I'll take this cup is if it's an emperor, right? Okay, it's the emperor that wants to come that's balanced. So you know you can trust this person. Things have completed over your empress and your own elements and energy and this is the only way that you're gonna move forward and take things at a slower pace with the page of cups you know being inspired to do something with someone because they're on the same level as you you know you're ready for something great now or something like that now if you are the emperor yes you're still very balanced. And maybe you're thinking of offering someone a cup because of what you've been through with someone else. You're over it. You're ready to move on to the next relationship. Maybe, I guess, because you see how special this one person is. And maybe you're just, you know, taking them on dates and things right now, but maybe you're thinking about this here, like, next level of something. I don't know how long you've been talking to them. It says Promise Ring out here. I mean, I don't know. Promise Ring is like junior high, high school, but I don't, I don't know. It could be an engagement ring, but that's kind of heavy. So, I don't know. Everybody operates differently time wise. Wow, King of Shells. So, yeah, you have a really big heart, whoever you are here. And you're, you have a good positive attitude. You're a happy person. You know, you, you have got good vibes. You know, and you just really don't like it when other people kind of like the whole Debbie. Debbie Downer, excuse me, you know, type vibes around you or, you know, just always nagging or whatever. With the magician next. So you manifested something new in your 
life. Here with the moon. Tapping in with your emotions and how you truly feel about something. Okay, page of swords. Maybe wanting to learn more about this new person or something like that. Because it says exploration and discovery. Queen of Acorns, Queen of Wands. So maybe this person is... This is the passionate person. That's, if you're a life path number five, that's what drives you or what attracts you to this person because this person's drive, this person's, you know, energy is just magnetic, you know. And she's magnetic. She's beautiful. She's passionate. She creates. She's the empress. She's beautiful, you know. And um, you can definitely see yourself working with her with the six of pentacles. Wow. Grateful to have met her. All right. Wow. So here's the second day, guys. Appreciate you for being here with me. A few kids come back and rock with me anytime here where I do your daily reads. I appreciate your love and your energy. Your time and your support. Thank you so very much, guys. If you're still here with me right now, mm, love you guys. Thank you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. And of course, only if you like, I appreciate it all. One more time. Six of Swords, which was underneath this moon card, um, right here. Six of Feathers. Right here it says Clarity. Here it says Transition and Insight. So yes, as you're getting ready to go into this next phase of your life, you see this person as someone that just is more um, on your level, more balanced, um, more maybe even appreciative of who you are and how you are. You're a very positive person. You're just more aligned with this person. So here with the Ten of Swords, this other situation here, it had you in a negative space. You know, um, like I said, maybe the other person wasn't as positive. You know, maybe I was nagging or something like that. Making issues. I don't know. Like, I forgot the third part. As I was saying, if you guys, if this is a divorce, I didn't explain it the right way. Maybe more, so, maybe I did. Maybe it was just like more so, you know, person still kind of in your energy as they've moved on. But however, that, I don't know. Anyway, 10th of air, the past person was just like a, a kind of a, a negative energy around you. And it was something that was holding you back. And uh, you hated that it, it had to get to that level. Um, you know, because you, you love the person. King of Shells. And maybe even did try to hold on to the relationship for a while. You tried, you know. But, um, yeah. You need peace, and you weren't getting it. So now here with, with the Nine of Pentacles, 
you know, out here single. Nine of water in reverse. See the word is joy in reverse underneath this ten of air. You were not happy. You weren't fulfilled with this person. And that's you know what happens and that's when you find yourself not happy anymore. There's no reason for you to be in a relationship pretending, working with someone, six of pentacles, you know, like this is what you really want. You don't really want that, but you know, that's what it was. So here with the six of cups, last card. Um I can talk about a, a reconciliation. Um Someone that you've known before. So, as I was talking, the Six of Earth came out, but the Six of Earth is also right here, Six of Pentacles. So, like I said, you know, you're about to work with somebody new. So, it's like, okay, you're not happy, so why work with this person? You know, you tried to make it work because you were, like, in a real committed relationship with this person. But you broke it off, walked away, divorced, or whatever. It says breakthrough. And now you're about to do it again. Now, I don't know if you're about to do it again with somebody else that seems more like they are a home fit. You know, with the Empress. Or if you actually know them. It says twin flame. That would be crazy, right? Like someone that comes back around. Oh, you know, like I was saying, I don't know if it's... You guys are just there to improve one another, or you actually go back and forth, back and forth, and while improving, you come back together down the line. I'm not too sure how that works, but that would be something, because you do have Twin Flame right here. And now you have here Mother of Air, which is um, the sword. Okay, so that is a Queen of Sword, and you have Queen of Wands over here. So that's the fire sign, the air sign, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Leo, Aries, and Sag. So maybe the other person was, maybe she was the, maybe your past person was the air sign. Or maybe the new one's an air sign, and maybe the old one was a, the one. If, if maybe, you know, that it was like a married situation, like the emperor and empress, you know. I don't know, but the way I read it, it didn't come out like that, so. I don't know if I said that. So. Here's the last day, guys. Let's see what we get. That's a funky beat. Now you want to get up and dance. Oh, then it's kind of stopped when it picks back up. They're going into another song. Let me back it up so you can hear it. <laughs> I love music. get this deck to mix right. It's so small. I'm not focused. That's what it is. <laughs> Alright. One more time. Alright. The Hermit. 
So evidently, you know, you took your time thinking about this move. And uh, you were praying for it. It was hurting you. It didn't feel right. It didn't feel good to be in that space. So you have to come out and be this here king of swords and tell it like it is. Seven of swords, you had nothing to lie about. You tried to hold on to it and so on and so forth. You weren't... It's, it's, no negativity, no, no, no evil intention, no, nothing bad. It's just, you had to let it go. You had to keep it real with yourself. You know, and it took you a while to kind of cultivate a strategy so you could, you know, not just lay it on the person right away or something like that. So here with the moon, like, yeah, you got in tune with your emotions. And then when you figured out exactly how you were going to do this, you know, maybe what you were going to do first or whatever. Everything was out in the open. There was nothing, nothing more to uh, be discussed. Everything was out in the open. No hidden emotions, no nothing. Or maybe this, it was saying the Knight of Pentacles. Like, it took you a long time to get to that point of you just leaving, saying what you needed to say because. Like I said, maybe you guys were married or something like that. Yeah, with the Ten of Cups. You probably really were married. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yeah, so I get it. You know, you didn't want to break up the family and all. But, yeah, they, they, something, you guys fell out of love somewhere. You know, um, and you were praying for it, you prayed about it. This person just did not want to comply. Said miscommunicated often. Not too sure what was going on there, but yeah, yeah but you're definitely in the process of healing, you know. And it could, you know, just not even be yourself, you know. Maybe you have children with the person. It does say have, you have children somewhere, right? You have children. So, you know, it's about making sure that they're solid as well, you know. So it's a lot of healing going on, you know, and being able to have everything um, planned out right and aligned right. So... Um, nobody gets deeply affected by this the wrong, you know, the wrong way or everything kind of, you know, stays on a, a good path, you know, with good energy attached to it, <clears throat> as long as the other person, <clears throat> excuse me, is willing to comply, excuse me, and not give you a difficult time, so... I'll check you later if you just mm, love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.